shoes with my bare fist, don't you? Have you ever wondered where the oranges that make your orange shoes come from? Well, today I'd like to tell you the story of Eliza Tibbetts and her parent, Washington Naval Orange Tree, and how they changed California's history. Let's take a trip in our time machine back to the year of 1871. In 1871, William Saunders, a government official and friend of Eliza Tibbetts, got 12 naval orange trees from Bahia, Brazil. After the trees had grown a bit, he sent nine of them to Florida where they died. In 1873, Eliza, who was visiting Washington, D.C., convinced Mr. Sanders to send the other three trees to Riverside, California. The trees had a long journey. First, they traveled by train from Washington, D.C. to San Francisco. Then they had a three-day stagecoach trip to Los Angeles. Finally, they traveled the final 65 miles from Los Angeles to Riverside in the Tibbetts wagon. Luther Tibbetts didn't think that the trees would go, so she told his wife she shouldn't waste water on them. The conversation probably went something like this. You know how much I hate toad water all the way from the canal to the house. Makes my arthritic knees hurt. But Luther, these trees have to be watered or they'll die. Very well then. I guess you'll just have to find some other way to water them because I ain't toting the water. Okay, I will use my dishwater. In the future, they will call this recycling. So Eliza planted the three trees in her yard and watered them with her dishwater. Two of the trees did well mainly because the navel orange's thick skin makes it perfect for a dry environment like Riverside. Unfortunately, one of the trees was trampled to death by a cow. Eliza's orange trees produced their first fruit in 1875 and in 1879 naval oranges were introduced as a local citrus fair where they won first prize. After that, everyone wanted to grow naval oranges. Because naval oranges don't have seeds, the only way to grow a new tree is to take a piece of a naval orange tree and attach it to some other kind of orange tree to grow. Eliza decided to sell parts of her orange tree for a dollar to her neighbors and to a local nursery. Soon, naval oranges were being grown all over the Inland Empire. over 135 years old, the growing of citrus became a major part of California's economy. Many new towns sprang up in order to grow oranges. Towns like Fontana, Etiwanda, Rialto, Redlands, and Bloomington, to name a few. You can almost say that Eliza's trees created a second gold rush here in California because they caused $100 million worth of investment into California's economy in just 25 years. In fact, this magnificent tree is considered to be one of the most important plant introductions ever made into the United States. Thanks, Eliza Tibbetts. Believe it or not, all naval 
orange trees in the entire world are related to Liza's two original label orange trees. That's because the original label orange trees in Brazil all died out in 1930. Believe it or not, navel oranges are the most popular orange grown in California even today. You can visit the one surviving parent tree at the corner of Arlington and Magnolia Avenues in Riverside, California. You can learn more about California Citrus history by visiting the California Citrus State Historic Park in Riverside.